Basically, ground level ozone. You can't see it, you can't smell it, but in the summer months, it just shoots right up, those concentration levels. And something else that we were challenged with last year when it comes to air quality was, of course, a particulate matter. A lot of that particulate matter that uh, came in last year was a result of the wildfires that were burning in neighboring states. Our ever-changing climate is not only having an impact on our water source here in the Las Vegas Valley, it's also leading to not the best air quality. 2021 ranked the 12th worst uh, air quality in terms of ozone and the 25th worst air quality in terms of particulate matter. Dr. Anthony Chen is Associate Professor and Director of the Urban Air Quality Laboratory at the UNLV School of Public Health. He says ground level ozone concentrations typically are highest on the warm hot days with low humidity when the wind is light or stagnant. In other words, our summers. Inhale ozone into your body will hurt the lungs and the respiratory functions, but ozone is not visible. So, I mean, uh, um, many people may not pay much attention to it, but uh, um, we are at the borderline of the air quality standards of ozone. Chen says this is something we need to pay attention to, especially in the summer, and especially people with compromised lungs, the elderly, and the very young. Other irritants in our atmosphere that reduces our air quality is particulate matter. Last year, much of that particulate matter blew into the valley from the wildfires in California. Dr. Chen says there's no easy fix for the problem because much of this type of pollution is impacted by our weather. When the heat of the summer leaves us, we tend to have fewer bad air quality days, but that doesn't mean we are not at risk. It's just that there are fewer irritants in the atmosphere.